One Piece! Whoa! Chapter 792. We are so close to wrapping up the Dress Rosa arc. The chapter starts off with everyone celebrating, and Burgess is trying to not even rain on Sabo's parade, just straight up piss on it. He brings up how when they captured Ace the first time, the only thing Ace wanted was how, was uh, not to have his brothers know about it. it. The translation I'm reading says, don't tell my brothers, don't tell my little brothers, and I'm wondering, did Ace know about Sabo being alive with Dragon? Did he? Or is that a translation error? Because if that's a translation error, that should be fixed. If it's not, Ace, why didn't you ever tell Luffy? Did, he, did Ace know back in Alabasta? Did Ace know back when they saved him? Why didn't he even say it for a second there? Like, did Sabo come with you to save me? Like... Yo! But, um, moving on from that, because that, that, I really hope is not a translation error. If that's a translation error, I'm gonna be pissed. But moving on, Burgess is just trying to rattle up Sabo to, to, to do, I don't, he tried to steal the Mirror Mirror fruit. He has a blade behind his back. I guess he was trying to stab him, but, you know, Sabo's not gonna fall for this. And while he's trying to bullshit Sabo, Sabo, Someone, um, someone's trying to call him. It's it's probably members of um, Blackbeard's crew. They're probably wondering if he got the Mara Mara fruit or if, um, where he is at this moment. Apparently, he has a habit of never calling in unless he wants to, but that's not really important. Until we actually see anything that Blackbeard is doing, we can't really discern what what he's doing more than he's collecting powerful devil fruits. And I, don't, I don't even know what he's doing. Hell, for all we know, he's collecting Ponoglyphs and the all-powerful weapons like Pluto and Neptune and Poseidon or some shit. We, we have no idea what the fuck he's doing. But to hell with it. Um, Sabo reacts in kind. He, yo, he breaks out like that Dragon Claw pros. I can't even do it. It's like, it's like the fucking... Fucking... I don't fucking live long and kiss my ass, Burgess. <laughs> Yo, he's not about to... I thought he was about to crush his skull. But, he, you know, Sabo, and this because this is One Piece, you can't literally crush someone's skull in your hand. But he's like, I don't need you to tell me what Ace felt. I've been thinking about it every day since I heard about it. And like, all the bullshit and fury is starting to build up in him. And he, yo, he, he kens him. Yo, it's done. If the fight wasn't already done, it's more than done now. But that's that's it between Sabo and Burgess. We go back to the people of Dress Rosa. The, the, milit uh, the Navy is locking up Don Quixote and his family. Why they have still not shown his face yet is pissing me off. They're pulling a fucking Kakashi right now. His glasses are off. Show his face. I don't even think his face is that interesting. I just want to sh see it because if you're not going to show it, that means that there's some shit important. You fucker. Damn you, Oda. Don't do this to us. Um, The military is taking Don Quixote and his family. The people of Dress Rosa. Well, what situation is being broadcasted right now, the same as um the pirate war was. But the people of Dress Rosa are like, King Riku, we don't care what happens from now on. We just want you to make Dress Rosa a peaceful place. Because this madness is got to be enough to, for, for people to desire peace. Yo, everyone on the country was almost killed. The major crime family that ruled it got bodied. The royal palace got destroyed. Yo, Luffy destroys everything when he saves someplace. Like, I will save you, but I will destroy 80% of your... <laughs> Of your island. <laughs> it's just like fucking Fishman Island. Saves the people. Destroys half. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, um... King Rukuo is about to be placed in... Placed as the new government. Fujitora comes up to him and says something really surprising. I never thought this would ever happen. He goes over and 
bows before King Riku and apologizes. I never thought a single person from the world government would ever apologize for anything. Like, you remember what happened with the, with Eni's lobby? Like, I'm surprised they would ever admit fault with anything. But to apologize like this, it's not even just Fujitora. It's Fujitora and his his Marines. They're all just prostrating themselves before him. They say, "Get um, as a representative of the world governments, we would like you to create your own government." So he just basically saying, "Step away from the world governments. Become." Not even just your own sovereign nation, but your own sovereign government. I feel like this is going to come back to bite someone in the ass later. But what can you do? And I guess from now on, King Riku is going to create a new form of government. For all we know, they can become a democratic republic and stop madness like this. Or it will cause more madness like this because democratic republics. You see what America does? G Jesus Christ. Can you imagine if the president had fucking <laughs> fucking string string fruit powers? Jesus Christ. <laughs> the madness that would occur. But still, that's the end of the chapter. It's basic. It's, it's not really needed. Like, half of this could have been skipped and we could have I guess, I guess, a hey, Oda has something in mind. Oda always has something in mind. But we're taking it pretty slow, and I'm hoping that we speed up the pace. I want to see what happens with the others who are captured by Big Mom. I want to see Kaido. I want to see what happens with Captain Kid and those three other supernovas. Like, for the next arc, I'm not sure this is going to happen, but I hope it happens, and this is what I want to happen. Kaido's coming after Delphamingo. If Kaido kills Delphamingo, the first thing he's going to do is go after Luffy because Luffy bodied Delphamingo and destroyed the Smile Factory. Luffy's probably going to go after Big Mom after this. If Luffy makes it to Big Mom, Captain Kid goes after Big Mom because they said they're going after one of the one of the four great war the four um emperors. They're either probably going to go after Big Mom or Kaido because I doubt anyone's going to go after Shanks. And I really doubt anyone's going to go after Blackbeard at this point. They're probably going to go after either Big Mom or Kaido. And since Kaido is, is going to probably gain on Luffy really quickly, it's going to be a massive battle royale between the Straw Hats. Law. Straw Hats and Law. Big Mom. The three supernovas. Fucking kid. That one music dude and um the magical scarecrow mcgilla fuckboy I, I don't know i forget yo kid is the only one who i even remember and um, fucking kaido two emperors five supernovas madness all around i want this to happen it'll be so goddamn epic yo let this happen oda please help me out but well, that's the end of the chapter. I will see y'all for the next. Like, rate, subscribe. One piece of love. Shit,